Starry stonewort is a species of macroalgae related to many native species in Wisconsin. This species can be challenging to identify, but learning a few important features will help you distinguish starry stonewort from its relatives. These algae have a simple body plan consisting of a main axis, which you could consider the stem. For simplicity's sake, we will just use the word stem in this video. Around the stem are whorls of branchlets, much like the whorls of leaves you would see on other aquatic plants. A key feature of starry stonewort, and probably the easiest to look for, is the presence of star-shaped bulbils. These are produced on clear threads in the sediment, which look like fishing line. A small number of native species will produce bulbils too, but these are generally round like tiny snowballs. Starry stonewort bulbils have many points or lobes. Starry stonewort is very large compared to most other macroalgae in our region. Notice the size of these native species compared to the nickel in each photograph. Then look at the starry stonewort. It is several times larger in diameter than most of our native species. Starry stonewort produces small orange balls along its branchlets. These are the male reproductive structures called antheridia. So far, only male starry stonewort has been observed in North America. This means that there is no sexual reproduction occurring, and therefore no viable seeds are being produced. Without females present, starry stonewort can only spread by bulbils and fragments of itself. Starry stonewort is likely to be confused with several native species. The most commonly confused species are the muskgrasses, also called cara. However, all of the common cara species have long cells running up and down the stem, creating a rough or textured feel. The stem of starry stonewort is smooth. Species of nitella can also look very similar to starry stonewort. The branchlets of nitella always fork at the ends, producing two or more equal length parts. The branchlets of starry stonewort may appear to fork, but what you see is actually a long bract coming out of the branchlet. Since these bracts are often only on the upper branchlets, you can look further down the stem where the branchlets don't have any forks or bracts. When starry stonewort is removed from the water, its stiff branchlets tend to remain in the same position. Species of nitella tend to be very relaxed and droopy when they are out of water. Sago pondweed is a common native species that can look somewhat like starry stonewort. However, notice that its leaves alternate left and right on the stem rather than being in whorls. It also produces many large seeds on long stalks above the plant, which starry stonewort would never do. Horned pondweed has opposite or whorled leaves, but will never produce bulbils, and the leaves are very weak and delicate. It produces many clusters of four banana-shaped seeds along the stem, which it typically holds throughout most of the growing season. Remember, without females present, starry stonework can only spread by bulbils and fragments of itself. Boat trailers, anchors, and other recreational equipment are the most likely vectors for spreading starry stonework. Monitoring boat landings is a smart strategy for detecting an introduction of starry stonewort and slowing its spread. For help identifying starry stonewort and other aquatic plants of your lake, check out the field guides and other helpful resources at the UW Extension Lakes online bookstore.